Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about control node for XD Excel. In particular, we are going to explore the SyncSys control node models, which in my opinion are the most reliable at the moment. They are not just efficient, providing good results, but they allow you to control more than 10 control net types. This will improve model performance and will avoid the hassle of downloading multiple control net models. Do you remember we had to download a model for Tile, a model for Squibble, a model for OpenPost? With this model from Tsingsir, we are just downloading one single model. You can find the model on Hugging Face. And good news, there is a new model called ProMax. In here. So if before with the control net plus plus control net all in one, you could control 10 plus conditions. With this ProMax model now, you can control 12 plus conditions plus five advanced editing. Let's scroll down on this page and let's have a look at some examples. So you can see tile the blur, for example. Uh, look at the results that look stunning, tile variation, but also you have image in painting, which seems to be great, and image out painting as well. And then if you scroll down, you have different conditions you can apply, like open pose, and it seems to be working pretty well. You have depth, you have Kenny, line art, and so on and so forth. And you can also apply more than one control at the same time. Uh, if I'm not wrong, let's scroll down a little bit more. Yeah, you have open post plus Kenny examples in here or open post plus depth plus scribble. Wow, you have many options. So if you want to download the files, you need to go into files in here and then you will have to download the Diffusion PyTorch model Pro Max, which is this one. This other one is the previous one. So it's the 10 plus control conditions. So once you have downloaded the model, you will have to move it, uh, I have it here, inside the, the folder ConfUI, ConfUI models and control net. And then ideally you should be able to use it straight away. This is their GitHub page as well. So if there are slightly more information compared to Hugging Face. So if you want to have more information, you can have a look uh, into this. And something that they remind us uh, actually is that you can use this model with LoRa, this works perfectly with LoRa as well, Excel, of course. And then this model is compatible with open source SD Excel models like Blue Pencil Excel, Counterfeit Excel. Today we are going to use ConfUI and we are going to run this ProMax model. I'm so excited about it. And yeah, let's dive in. Once we have initialized ConfUI, the only thing you need to add is the control net settings, basically. I'm going to share these workflows with you uh, in my Patreon, probably, for free, obviously. And I can go through these uh, connections I made. So you have the low checkpoint. I'm using Blue Panting Excel, which is this one from Civit AI. And I got some settings from this picture in here. And then I modified it slightly. Then I have the empty latent image. I have the text encode, the positive and the negative one. So in the positive, I'm writing cute, one girl solo. This is what I basically copied from Civit AI, but I have included bikini. I included hugging her knees, sitting on the beach, and then probably that's it. And I removed a few stuff. And then you have the negative prompt. For SDXL, the negative prompt is not that important. So I just have, you know, three simple words, text, ugly, and realistic. Now, before moving into the case sampler, let's go in the control net section. So I have load control net model and I have load image. So these are our two inputs. The image I loaded is from Pexels. If you don't know it, it's a, a website where you can get free images and videos as well. I typed woman and that I got this woman in this position because I would like to use open post today. And it seems like a good position to me. So <laughs> I chose that. And I'm actually here inputting the Diffusion PyTorch model Pro Max. 
which is the one that we just downloaded from Hugging Face. Now, let's have a look at the ControlNet preprocessor. I have this from ConfUI Artventure. If you don't have it, you need to download it from Manager. And then I have a preview image because I just want to see, you know, what is the result from the preprocessor. And then based on that, I can choose what ControlNet to use. I know already I'm going to use open post, but yeah, if you have a different image and you want to, you know, change your image differently from what I'm doing now, you probably want to do that. You can add as many control net processors as you want. Then after that, we have apply control net where I am attaching the image I want to use. So in my case, it's open post here and you are going to link as well the model. Then this is coming from the positive prompt, right? While this condition is linked to the case sampler. So let's go into the case sampler. The case sampler has linked the model, the base model, which is the blue pencil for me. You have the positive prompt, which in reality comes from the apply control net settings. You have the negative prompt, which I got from the clip text encoder simply. And you have the latent image, which is going to give you, you know, the size of the image you would like. In my case, I'm using 1024 by 1536 because this is the uh, resolution of my image of this one loaded, of the image I loaded before. So. After that, we're just connecting, well, we are modifying the settings. I took them again from the blue pencil. So they're using step 30, CFG scale five, this sampler name is scheduler, and then the noise one. The seed, you can use minus one if you want to find you know, different results. I was using minus one and then I found a picture I liked. So I'm, now I'm using this seed, but uh, it's up to you what you want to use really. And then finally, you are going to connect the laden from the case sampler to the variation allowed encoder. Variation allowed encoder, which includes also the variation allowed encoders loaded, which I'm taking directly from the model I'm using. All right, so after that, we, well, we have our image in here. So we only need to queue prompt and see what happens. While the image is uh, loading, actually, let's have a look at here. So we are going to see the preview image from the preprocessor, which I think is always very useful. So you see the, the, the preprocessed image. So I'm using this one only in this case. Something I would like to mention, actually, is that I had issue a while ago when I was using this ConfUI art venture, because when I was going initially, on preprocessor here, I could just see tile and known. So these two, actually. I couldn't see all of these others. Look how many they are. That's amazing. In order for you to see this and not getting an error when you are queuing your prompt, you will have to go into manager and you have to install. Well, of course, you need to install the ConfUI Art Venture. But there is another one you need to install. Let's see this one. ConfUI's ControlNet Auxiliary Preprocessors. If you don't install this one, you're not going to get all of the preprocessors and actually you're going to get an error. So make sure you do that. So after that. And here you go. You have what I was expecting. So you actually get this uh, cute girl <laughs> with white hair and red eyes. Uh, sitting on the beach in this exact position. That's it really. Now, this is very cool because you can use this uh, Pro Max, but even the previous one, the ControlNet++ model with uh, other LoRes, other SDXL models. You can use it, I think you can use it within For You as well, which is great. And, uh, and you can use it as well with multi ControlNet stack. So I'm not going to cover this into this video, but let me know if you uh, want me to cover it. Also, um, 
if you have any questions if you get any errors please let me know i will leave it here for now i hope you enjoyed have a good rest of the day and thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye